Hello and welcome to FIFA 22 Creator Club Career Mode. We're going to ask a random person to give us a place in Germany. And then we'll create that club in FIFA 22, play with them in a do or die season. So the first person that I asked replied with F*** off, I beg. Now I tried to find F*** off, I beg, but I don't think it's a place in Germany. Naughty, naughty, very important partier. I'll ask the F*** channel in Brazilian Portuguese instead. I wish I was making this up. They chose the hockey. Hockenheim ring, which is the race track, so we're gonna go Hockenheim, give it some kind of racing flair, rapid Hockenheim. Oh, we've got a name. So consulting the Hockenheim Wikipedia page, we can see a coat of arms. It's a black and blue crest with a lion, red crown. We can do things with that. This badge should be fairly easy. Right, that looks like a nice base shape. Get this coat of arms as a reference. We'll go and lift whatever these are immediately yeah looking pretty good throw the text in here oh font 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 a little black outline yes got a large area to work in a decent lion can i just download the image without signing in i want to get the color right where's this lion's eye hole gone this does look rather classy trim off all this weird excess that we've got put it underneath that I think that's badge done. Let's get over to FIFA. Well, I can understand Street Polder not being in the club nicknames or the Otters, but Rapid? Rapid! Surely you put Rapid in the club nicknames. Also, the full name was so massive I had to abbreviate. So what's this team's backstory? I'm thinking they're a yo-yoing team from the first tier to the second tier. They had a good season last season, qualifying for the Conference League. But the best players have got picked off. Their goal this season is to just have a respectable year in Europe. Look away and replace. Sorry, Bochum. I mean, Leipzig's our rival because no one likes Leipzig. <laughs> Kit manufacturer will go... Oh, Hummel's right down at the bottom. I had no idea. This is a madness. Close enough. It's got a lion on it. Of Stadion Europa. Rename. I don't exactly want to call it Stadion Hockenheim. The central urban area forms one unit and is only divided into five districts for statistical purposes. Together with the central town, several small settlements belong to Hockenheim. The industrial areas Bornstation Tollhaus and Wasserwerk, the farms and houses, oh, I'm not going to try it, as well as the deserted settlement of Vesterheim. We're going to redevelop Vesterheim. So I'm happy with that. It's time for our most exciting bit. Already set up to be a three and a half star team. So I'm going to randomize the squad age. Whatever I land on is the team that we have to run with, the formation that we have to run with. Stop. Another veteran side in a 5-3-2. Because we've sold a lot of players, we've got a large transfer budget, 50 million pounds, low domestic success, high on the continental success. We really need to be doing bits in the conference league, financial medium, Oh, the others can stay as medium. Tricky little group. Flavia Prague, Feyenoord, Elche. We're sticking to legendary. I am going to drop the AI's pass accuracy a little bit. There's a chance here that we might not even make it out of the group stage. How old is the oldest in this veteran side? We're talking 37. And the highest overalls, an Armenian centre-back at 5 foot 9. You're not helping me out here. Christian Horn. 5 foot 10, Elliot Germain might be serviceable up front, especially because we're running two up top instead of that lonesome one. I guess our Armenian can also play central defensive midfield. Mm, probably better off selling this lad. He's at the right age. He's 80 overall. Lawrence Weber, striker, six foot. I don't think forwards will be the problem. Adding to our already pretty extensive global transfer network scouts with two five-star five-stars in Andreas Fresner and Luca Aman. We're going to have to do some big scouting Right now, Evan and Dicker showing great potential. That's one to go in for. A leader of men. I like. Whoa. A lot of greens in there. Edmund Tapsoba. Right backs. I totally go Timothy Forsu Mensa, but I know he's injury prone in real life. I don't know if he's got the trait. Any teams in the second tier with a high potential right back, maybe? Oh, yes. This uh, right back from Hamburg. I think we're a bit weak. 
central midfield. And if the first video is anything to go by, we probably need a solid goalkeeper. Take a look at the Youth Academy. The goalkeeping options from the Youth Academy are exceptional. Unfortunately, the best potential, the highest potential it seems, is a 15-year-old. So I can't promote him. Andre Novak, maybe? I don't know. He's only 55 overall. The others, get in the bin. Show me my current goalkeeping situation. We have a 20-year-old, 73 overall goalkeeper. This guy is 26, so he can immediately go on the transfer list. And even worse, this 65 overall is 35 years old. I think I'm going to give Novak the nod to be our third choice goalkeeper. I don't think like in the higher leagues we'll find a youth academy player to slip right into the first team, but you never know. We might as well give it a shot. There's final scout reports already coming in. And Tap Sober is 81, but his valuation is massive. Line art 76, and I think, yeah, his contract's expiring, so we could get him on the cheap. 76 for Musa near Carte. Only 17 million. Wow, I thought his valuation would be a little bit higher than that, but I'm going to accept. There's also Sampdoria wanting our backup goalkeeper. Both of them out the door. The transfer budget is looking like 57.6 million. If we slide the wage a little bit, that's 60. Do we go all in for tap sober? It leaves us a little bit light. That Fenerbahce goalkeeper doesn't look too bad. Even he's got a really large valuation. It wouldn't be wise for us to go in for tap sober. One day, I'll be signing him up, but not today. We'll take leader of men. He's also got lung throwing trait and leadership. Musa Niakate, who's relatively cheap. They want 9.9 .9 with a sell-on clause. If you remove the sell-on clause, I will buy him for 9.9 .9 million pounds. I think we might take Nicholas Dominguez, the central midfielder from Bologna, available for, I think, about 12 million, 13.5. Same thing, let's remove the sell-on clause and you got a deal. 16.3, it's moved up to, how about 15 million pounds? Come on, that's it. We've not looked at great goalkeepers. Selection's pretty poor. Right backs, nothing there. Although we know that this guy from Hamburg is showing great potential. At 20 years old, he probably is, oh, dirt cheap. Oh, they want to exchange a player. I really don't have a clue how good Simon Braun is. I could submit the offer, check Simon Braun, and if I don't like the deal, back off. I 17. Although that being said, he's a left midfielder. We don't use left midfielders. He's not going to help this season, so I might as well go for it. Let's start getting pens to paper. And the first one in, Musa Niakate. Now for Nicholas Dominguez. I'll take that release close because if we sell him on for that amount, I would be very, very happy. There's signing number two. All done and dusted. We're going for the right back now. It's a busy, busy day for Rapid Hockenheim. Wagnerman has signed up. We've got no use of so FIFA. Just going into this blind. And I'm enjoying every single second. This is a pathetic excuse for a striker at 26, 65 overall. Get on the transfer list. We sign players on new contracts that we want. Noticing that the left bike situation is not a good one with aging players. Should we just pick one of the random Brazilian defaults? Wellington Dano is showing great potential. Might not be a bad shout. Four star, four star could also play left mid, so... Hopefully, the change to left wing back is no problem. Pfeiffer going out of the club. Just under a million pounds, that transfer. Final scout report on Wellington. Ah, oh, 31 million? He'd be the find of the decade. I'm going to check if he's a real player. I very much doubt he is. Yeah, Wellington Dano does not exist, but he's a baller. We've put Maxim Koenig on the transfer list because we might get some decent money. 77 overall, 28 years old. And I mean, we signed up Dominguez. And this 32-year-old left wing back can go. I'll have to give the captaincy to Nia Carte, of course. Oh, 2-1 win against mine. So, draw, win. Not bad start. Transfer offer for the lad that really needs to get out of here. Napoli want him. But we'll have to negotiate. 11.5 million is quite low. 12.5 million then. 
Aston Villa, they wanted to pay 12.5 million. Napoli want to pay 12.5 million. Seems like we got 12.5 million. Last game before the transfer deadline day. Another win. Currently, after three games, we're third. Interest for that left wing back, the old left wing back. Getting out the club, PSV want to sign him. All right, 42.57 million pounds in the transfer budget. We're going in for Wellington Dano. Let's try 32 million to begin with. 39.7. We could probably meet in the middle here at 35. Please say yes. Oi, hey, hey. I'm so happy. This is going to be great. Wellington Dano. Make this as smooth as possible, except... We've signed up Wellington Dano. Five minutes ago, I didn't know he existed. He doesn't exist. Get on the development plan. Left wing back. It'll only take him two weeks. 9.49 million in the transfer kitty. I think that 9 million might get Robbie from Leipzig. Try that on for size. Yep. Agreeable. We've done quite well. Oh, give us some wage information at least. 25k. Ryan Brob is in. And with that, our transfer activities are over. Unless there's a ludicrous offer on the table for one of our current players. Oh yeah, you can go as well. This will mean that both of our left backs will be leaving. We need another left back. Crunch time with two hours to go. We need to find a left back pretty cheap. We've got 2.2 million pounds in the finances. Hang on, Schalke got relegated. I've just seen a Schalke player. Maybe that could be a shout. I mean, he needs to be available for 2.2 million pounds. Don't think he will be. Or he might. He's probably going to be high 60s. Kerim Chalanoglu. Potentially related to the other Chalanoglu. We've got him signed up. Another high potential player. 64 was lower than what I expected. Fingers crossed Dano does not get injured. If Dano gets injured, we're in a world of trouble. A world of pain. Deadline day comes to a close. And really, what you can say for Rapid Hockenheim is that they've done a great job. Apart from the fact that I forgot to sign a first choice goalkeeper. Which means that Novak is going to be back up because I'm releasing Victor Planas. The 36 year old 64 overall goalkeeper stinking out the place the scout that we inherited is gonna search france for a goalkeeper and he's not coming back until he finds a good one please tell me that there's an introduction to the europa conference league like there is the europa league and the champions league i'm gonna laugh at how tempo it is it's got a great background but no introduction still winning in the league home against elche it's only a 1-1 draw i'm not feeling confident we might have to go against Fire Nord. We won against Bayern Munich away! Wellington Dano is now a left wing back and he's gone up to 82 overall. Fire Nord against Rapid Hockenheim is our first game of this video. I forgot it last time. I'm not gonna forget it again. Turning the commentary off. Really looking forward to seeing how this. Oh, that is one of the worst touches I've ever seen. Referees in very, very similar kits. Great turn. Oh, yeah! Yes, 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 yes! It's the lad who scored four goals in three games with a significant finish here away against Feyenoord. Weber into Dano. First look at Dano. Let's get a cross in. Love that! It's perfect! We are defensively solid. We should expect with three centre-backs. Looking way more lively in attack. No need to call on assistance from Morega. Yeah, it seems like the tactics are set immediately to drop back long ball direct passing. It's working for this team at the moment, so I'm not going to complain. Maybe some player instructions just to tell the wing-backs to get up whilst attacking. We could turn very deadly within this competition, although... That being said, I think the winners will be about four and a half stars. Oh, that's a ball. Great save. Keepers having a storming, storming game. Corner kick. Someone close him down. Thank you, Vukovic. Yes. Keller's there. No one really troubling him. An attempted ball to Weber. Oh, I'm sliding that. Got to be careful. Oh, on the volley. What, a, what an effort. It's a great attempt by Jermaine. It's Horn for Rapid Hockenheim. Jermaine! Effort! We've had the better of the last 15 minutes. And here comes the corner kick. Come on, lads. Got to be seeing a better attack of the corner kick. Oh, thank you very much! Woo! Right.
right place at the right time. I think that's Hall in the centre mid. And we've secured a very important three points in the group stage away against Feyenoord. Plenty of running left in Schwartz. Here we go. For third. Oh! Help me. I've just seen the worst thing ever. Ever. Is that a no-look finish as well? Maybe you should be looking next time. Don't tell me. He's tried a no-look. Oh, he has. He has. Oh! Surely not, mate. Look next time. Please. What are you doing? That's a ball. Tell you what, I've been blessed with some great keepers so far. But he's not going to save that one. Let's see it through. 2-1. Don't need to do anything silly. And I've lost the ball. I've done something silly. Just call the game. Bro. Call the game. Yes. Surely now, referee. 2-1. Full-time scoreline. We nearly had a panic attack at the end. League form's really dropped. I think if we win this home match against Slavia Prague, it's safe to assume that will be qualified for the knockout stages. We've dropped away massively. Look at the L's we're taking. Sitting in eighth place. Yes, we've won away against Slavia Prague. So definitely qualified now. 3-2 win against Dortmund. We like picking apart the big boys. January Czech sees Rapid Hockenheim in ninth place. Europa Conference League. This is the most important thing. Hockenheim. Qualifying top of their group. Helig's too old to do it now. Wagnerman is our first team right wing back. Swap deal. 79 overall Vukovic. Jordan Teaser Teze. View exchange player. He's really young. Not going to lie. We're losing four overall, but four years younger and money. I'll accept this. Got to put a contract on the table for this new centre-back. Tez is on the way to Rapid Hockenheim. Did not expect that. Being wise, I would take Piero Hincapi because his release clause is, what, £5.3 million. We know that he's a showing great potential player. However, however, let's get a bit risky. Let's take Filip Benkovic from Leicester City because them traits... Look tasty. Leicester City, would they have a bad centre back? He's 24 years old. Just sign him up and regret it later, Curtis. I have no idea what wages you want. 25k. Uh, I don't think I've overpaid that much. He's 72 overall. There's depth there at centre back. And I see that Teze is rather rapid. 83 pace. I'm so chuffed with that centre back selection. I've even got like a left-footed player, two right-footed players. Get this transfer window closed. I don't think I could have done much better there. For real, when is that European competition starting again? Oh, Fenerbahce. Should we simulate the away leg? See what's what. Maybe it's a sim match. Drawing 1-1 one, one away. This is looking good. We'll do a visual sim here. Because I think we're going to go far in this competition. I'd like to play some of the later rounds. The visual sim has changed a little bit. Teams do make way more chances. If we finish with a draw here, I might be able to see if away goals have been removed. Although I, I'd hope that Rapid Hockenheim could do it within 90 minutes. We've gone down 1-0. Jumping in already because I don't want this video to finish abruptly. Game's freaking out a bit. I've seen a, a couple of like drop frames here and there. Nice tackle. Whoever that was, well played. Take that ball. Thank you very much. It's Horn. Someone's pointing Keller. They're on drop back. Big save. Goalkeeper could have been mine in the summer. Funny how things go around full circle. That's a fantastic finish. Fenerbahce are flying. Step up and be countered. There's a ball. Jermaine! 2 1. I'm going to get out of this hole. Horn. There's a through ball. Jermaine latches on. Big chance. Oh, well, that has changed things. Please let the new rulings be in play. Very nicely done. And a ball to match. Oh, yes. Best piece of play that I've done on FIFA 22 so far. Here's Dominguez. He'll take it as far as he can. He's got Weber. Oh, what a ball. Go on. Jermaine. That's it. That is it! 
Oh, what a turnaround second half from Rapid Hockenheim. Jermaine, top notch. Really rate his qualities. The team needed him to step up and he has delivered. Fenerbahce have collapsed in the second half. First off, I was definitely put off slightly by them frame drops. I really want to know what's causing them. Maybe something to do with the visual sim? I hope not. Wellington Dano gets out of there. Hey! Do I hear us advancing to the next round? You certainly do. That's a hat trick for Elliot Germain. Oh, yeah. Maybe we say goodbye to the Conference League as we've been drawn in the quarterfinals against Spurs. Just want to show off a youth academy player that we scouted this season, Ronnie uh, Seidel is a central defensive midfielder. The potential is astonishing, and he's six foot six. He is what you want. Shame that we can't see him in this video, really. Let's go into it, have some fun. Rapid Hockenheim against Spurs. Dominguez. Here's Kello. I'm trying it. Good effort. And an equally decent save. Keep on passing it around, see what we can open up here. Yo! Oh, boy, he's quick on the wing. Oh, great save, keeper! We've got to get out of defence. We cannot afford to just sit there and hope they don't score because eventually they will. It's a nice touch. Horn's doing great. Probably man of the match at the moment. And he's got the ball to Jermaine. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Is he quick enough, though? Jermaine seems quick enough. Oh, and he doesn't get the chipped finish against Lloris. I don't want to bring the goalkeeper out very nice Woo! and a clearance to match Looks on. That's oh, ho, ho! this keeper we should talk about this keeper this is onside nope Linda's not having any of this get tighter on Kane it does produce a hole for Deli Alley oh they're really showing up now that's a goal for Tottenham. In yeah, the last 10 minutes, there was a difference in class. Keep it together. 2-0 Tottenham. The game has flipped on three minutes. The end of the road is in sight. We've made our minimum requirements. I feel as though if we didn't find Tottenham in the quarterfinals, we would have got to at least the semis. They've definitely not embarrassed themselves in Europe. Well done, guys full time the second leg has to be near perfect we've got a home game against Leverkusen sandwiched in between we've got a 1-1 draw out of that it's been a solid showing in the league Tottenham Hotspur against Rapid Hockenheim oh come on get the nerves out the system we don't need that they're dropping off Wagner man I should have kept on going this is Jermaine and now Dominguez he's going oh it's a lovely goal yes well, whatever happens tonight, we'll always take that back with us. And it silenced the home crowd a little bit. Try and stop Harry Kane from scoring. What a save, mate. Well done, whoever that number three is. Bad clearance in the Oh, yeah, there you go. Terrible clearance. What a mistake to make when you 1-0 up away against Spurs. Definitely not embarrassing, but going out of the competition at this moment in time. Keep being... Oh... Harry Kane's got his goal. 4-1 aggregate. Bit quiet, disappointed that our Conference League run is going to end this way. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. And we're not beating Tottenham. Ow, quick. So good. That is so good. Wagner man. Flicking. Brobby. Good work, lads. That's a great goal. We are not getting humiliated here. There's no chance of it. I'm not letting that happen. We're too proud to let that happen to ourselves. He's been a spectator for 70-odd minutes. Gets one sniff. Unleashes a belter. Come on. Come on. Use the last energy in your legs. Get it finished. Yes! We just had enough. Jermaine was left open in the middle. It's an easy pass to make. That kid does not miss much. We're going out, but we're going out very, very proud of the team. And that ends another video. Create a club. This time, 
with Rapid Hockenheim. So, would I continue on with this save? Absolutely. And we're taking forward Conrad Lind and the striker Elliot Germain to be NPCs in Youth Squad Legends. I've enjoyed my time here at Rapid Hockenheim, and if you've done the same, then please give the video a like. If you're new around here, think about subscribing and pressing that bell icon. It will help massively. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side pledging to me on Patreon and supporting me financially. I couldn't do any of this without you guys. Thank you ever so much. See you next time. Bye bye.